Okay, welcome back to another episode of C programming tutorial. So, in this episode, we are going to learn about uh, what you mean by what is the return type of a function. So, in the previous episode, uh, we already learned about how to pass some data uh, to a function using arguments. So, after uh, performing some operation, uh, the function can able to return some result back to the calling function. That is called uh, the return type of a function. The return type is uh, nothing but the data or the value which is uh, sent by the function, f sent from the function declaration to the function definition. So here I am going to uh, create a program that will uh, that will demonstrate uh, what you mean by the return type uh, in a function. So here in this program, on the main method, I declare two variables x and y. Here I declare a function void read number. I just declare a function called read number. The purpose of this function is to read two numbers for x and y from user. So this function, now the return type of the function is void. Void means now the return type, there is no return type for this function. So if the function, I want to return the function some value to x and y. So x and y are integers. So I want the return type of this function is int. So instead of void, I using int because uh, I want here this function return some integer values. So here on this function I also put an argument called int n. So here in this function uh, there is a return type which is integer and also there is a single argument uh, which is of integer type. Okay. So here I am going to call the function x equal to a read number. Also, I pass a value to that function. It's an integer 1. I just pass value number 1 to that function. So, uh, whenever compiler reach this statement, it will call that function with argument 1. So, this function will invoke and the variable n got the value 1. So here you can see the statement I use an assignment operator that means here the compiler will expect will expect some value from this function that's why I put the return type as int because here x is an integer. So I have to return some data or some value from this function back to the function call. Here I declare another variable num. It's, it is of same type integer. So here I ask the user to enter enter percentage d number Okay, also put a new line using slash n. So enter a number here and put a comma and put the value n here. So in this case, the value of n is 1. So it will print enter first number. Okay, so now here I am going to read that number into the variable called into the local variable called num. So percentage d is an integer so I use the format string percentage d put a comma operator and ampersand here the variable is num. So it will ask the user to enter the number user enter a number and that number is saved into this variable num. Okay, so now I have to return that number back to the function calling. So 
for return a value from a function you can use the keyword called return return and here the variable name is num okay so the function will return the value from num so I, if I put 5 for the number then it will return 5 back to the function calling so here we got the value for the first number 5 and that will assign into the variable x so for the second number I call the same function with a value 2 so whenever this statement reach the value of n is 2 so it asks the user to enter second number and the user enter another number and again return back that number so it will got in the variable y so here we got two values two numbers for x and y okay so now I'm going to declare another function here I'm going to declare one more function it also return an integer so here I put the return type pass int calculate I name the function as calculate and here this function also has two integer parameters x and y I use the same variable x and y in this function this is possible because the x and y is local to this function so you can use the same variable name or arguments name in any number of function because all that arguments are local to particular function so now here I am going to call that function so this function return an integer value so here I use the return statement return it will return the result of this statement x plus y so I have to call this function with two integer values and I got a result from this function so here I'm going to print that result printf put a new line character sum of percentage d and percentage d equal to again an integer so again put a percentage d and now specify the first now specify the first number here instead of this percentage d I want to display the value of x so I put the value variable x so here I want to display the value of variable y so I put y second now I have to display the sum of x plus y so I already define declare a function that calculate the sum of x and y so I have to call this function so here I'm going to call that function calculate calculate and pass the value of x and y to that function okay so here when this statement reads it will print sum of x and y equal to and call that function calculate with value of x and y so this function will invoke and it will calculate and it will calculate the sum x plus y and return the sum so we got the result here as an integer so it will display the result after this equal okay so I complete the program so now we can check it so compile the program there is no errors are available on our program so now I am going to run it yes compile it here come okay we got a small mistake here here uh, there is a spelling mistake n is capital okay now we complete the coding now we can run it we can check it so compile the program now run it now it asks for enter first number I put the first number enter second number put the second number 
sum of 7 and 2 is 9. We got the correct output. This is the this is how we working with a return type of a function. So one more thing here I return an integer value. So I use the return type as int. If you return a float value you have to specify the return type as float. Or if you want to return a character value you have to specify the return type as char. Okay uh, we will learn all that things in the coming up part of this tutorial series. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please try it yourself and please subscribe my channel for getting more video updates. Thank you for watching. See you in the next part.